it's important for people to foster teenagers um, because somebody's got to give them a start in life. Um, they need to be put on the right road to independence. Um, the most crucial part of their life is the latter part of their teenage years, getting them ready for independence and moving on, successfully moving on. Well, it's true it can be uh, a little bit scary to let a teenager come into your home, but they're not just a teenager. They are a child who needs the support, the love, the care, the attention, um, a listening ear really, somebody who's ready to listen. And most of all, they are an individual to be treated as such as an individual, to be respected as an individual. We see ourselves as the, uh, the last chance loop to try and bring them in to formulate into you know, people who are going to be part of this society. Being a child who wasn't in a happy home anyway, I got to experience what being in a happy family is and what it's like to be a part of a family that want you and want to look out for you and want to see you do the best in life, which I never had before. So that, that really helped me and that allowed me to get go places in life where you don't get if people don't support you. I actually have my, my own two children. Uh, both of them are actually younger than the children we foster. Both of them are, are pre-teens. However, it works very well. My ki own kids are absolutely amazing in the simple fact is they just, any child that comes into the house, make them feel extremely welcome in the same way we are when we have visitors to the house. So they see us and they reflect this when bringing, in essence, what can be a stranger into the house. I still remember the first morning I woke up in my foster home with my foster parents. I didn't get there till quite later on in the evening, so I pretty much went to bed straight away. And in the morning I woke up and I didn't remember where I was and just sheer fear and panic went through my body. I hadn't, didn't have a clue where I was. Then obviously I, I remembered and it all came to. And I think that was one of my lowest points because I was scared, I was 15, you know, I was, I was a kid. But they welcomed, in, they welcomed me into their home. They made me a part of their family. And we had some amazing experience. Like we went away on holiday for Christmas in New Year to Disneyland Paris. And it gave me back a part of my childhood that I don't think I, I would have ever got if I hadn't have had them. I feel that a lot of the time, if you tell a person you're in foster care, they will judge you straight away and they will make that stereotype of you. Um, at work, for example, I didn't tell a lot of people that I was a foster child until I got to know them because a lot of people's reactions can vary. You know, some people will just assume that you're going to be taking drugs or you're going to try and steal from them or you're going to be carrying a knife. And I think that's something that we need to work on as a community to try and sort of stop. You know, we need to make sure that, you know, there is going to be a minority of people that are that, you know, they do fit that stereotype. But most of us are just honest, genuine people. You know, we're in the situations that we are, not through choice. You know, we just want to get on with our lives. Not all teenagers that come into care are in care because of their own fault. It, they're not all naughty kids. But everybody's got to take time out to listen to them, be supportive to them and help them. If they're on the wrong track, going down the wrong road, it's our job to get them back on track and with love, time and support, it is possible. Uh, when I first met that foster family, I was feeling nervous and I didn't really know how to behave within the family environment. And um, it, it changed, it was gradual change, but it changed a lot and I learned how to be in the family and I knew what love was like. Well, the support for foster carers is amazing. It's really very good. Whether it is your specific training, you can book yourself on courses. And these courses are very, very, very good because you choose the titles of the courses you want to go. So whether you look after a young child or a teenager, you can actually choose the course that will help you with the person you have at home. Whether you want to practice creative play for little ones or assertive relationship for older ones. There's also your own social worker, the child social worker. But if you communicate well, you will find that at school there's wonderful people who are there to help you and who know the child very well. 
well. There's also mental health people who are very, very good at helping you. There's a, a wide variety of professionals out there who are just waiting for your call and they're ready to help you. I feel 100% supported. If there is a problem, I know it can get immediately sorted. I feel if I needed anything to be resolved, Essex County Council wouldn't stop until it was uh, all done and squared away. My foster parents didn't give up on me like I feel my parents did and they, they stuck with me through the hard times and the good times and they, they loved me like a parent should love a child and they were just everything I needed and they were, they were parents. Although I, I now live independently with my own family, um, my foster carers are still very much a big part of my life. They help me with day-to-day -day issues and I'm really grateful for everything they gave and all the time they put into me. There's many V boards, but to see these young people grow up, move on, keep in touch with you after, um, having their own children, their own families, bringing their children to you, it really is rewarding. The feeling of self-worth that Fostering Teenagers has given us is amazing. The people we have made, met are wonderful. The time we have invested has brought back to us loads and loads of rewards from people telling us about the difference we have made with these children, from the health professional to the teachers to the social workers professional. We feel we are doing something right. To anybody who would consider fostering a teenager, I would simply recommend they talk to people who are doing the job now. There are a lot of recruiting events where you can find people to talk to, but uh, definitely worth it. They are absolutely wonderful and it is so lovely to see somebody who moves out from your home as an individual, as an independent, responsible person. It is like having your own kids. It's exactly the same. You're there to pick them up, you're there to help them, you're there to guide them. You can do it. All it takes is just making one quick phone call or logging onto the website and applying for it. I can't emphasize enough. It is an amazing journey. Well, I've been with my foster parents for about six or seven years. Obviously when I first came to them, I was quite a small boy and now I'm nearly 18 years old. I think without them, I wouldn't have be the person that I am today. You know, my foster parents helped develop me as a person. Obviously, I went through the whole, of, you know, school, start to finish. Um, I ended up with some good grades. I now work full time. I consider my foster parents my family, and I will always be in contact with them. I can see myself, you know, when I have a family one day and I have kids, I'll be bringing them round, and you know, I'm never going to lose contact with them because they've done so much for me. Being in foster care I felt ever so lonely and especially through my teenage years. Having the foster family to come forward and support me during that time, I've benefited so much from that and as a result I've become a more loving adult myself. So we need more foster carers out there to take the time to spend with teenagers and give them a chance because teenagers need love too.